What is up guys? Good morning. It's another day. It is Friday. I'm out here on the highway passing our little power plant in historic Springfield, Illinois, the capital city. On the highway, headed to run some errands. Yes, it's Friday morning. Just dropped my son off from school. Let me flip this around here. Yeah. yeah. So, what is up, people? It is Friday. It is a cold Friday. I'm all bundled up. Like, it's 20 below out. I think it's about 25 degrees this morning. I'm supposed to have some warmer weather, I hope, next week. So, I want to break the Challenger out for a day or two and go drive in and get a car wash and things like that. So, yeah, Friday. That means Fridays with Fell, which is my weekly show on my main channel. Fast Electronic and Loud. It just went up a little bit ago. Like I said, drop my son off to school. I'm heading over to the bank. Then I'm heading back home. My significant other, she is headed home today or later today. She was in Chicago yesterday for work. I miss her, miss her horribly. Can't wait for her to come home and be home today. We'll all get together tonight for dinner and hang out. Family time, which is totally epically epic. But yeah, it's Friday. The sun is barely out. It's still a little cloudy, but hey, no snow yet. I know no snow yet. I wanted more snow with this last snowstorm so we could go sledding, take the GoPro, and have some fun, but it really didn't work out. Because we only got a little bit of snow. It was a light dusting, so I know. I was totally bummed. But uh, not using the GoPro for the vlog today. Using my iPhone 6. I started with the iPhone 6 recording all my videos back on YouTube back in the day. It wasn't my iPhone 6 then. It was just a regular... I think it was the iPhone 4 back in the day. Is what my first YouTube video went up with was using, I believe, an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 5. I can't remember which. I'll have to go back and look at the video. I think it was a 4. So, and if, if it wasn't a 4, then my very first one was an iPhone 3GS that I, that I used to record a video and upload it to YouTube. So, I had the very first iPhone, the first 2G iPhone. It, it wasn't it wasn't 3g it wasn't 4g it wasn't LT it was I mean at the time it was the best thing that ever came out it was 400 bucks I loved it but then you know as we can see as they progress it's like wow so I think back to like the iPhone 2g that I had or even the 3g which was awesome when the 3g came out because then it was fast over cellular but I think back to both of those models uh, and then I think back, or then look forward to like the iPhone 6 I'm using now, and I'm like, yeah, it's crazy how far Apple has come with that device, you know, it's, I remember waiting in line, and waiting in line for that iPhone when it first come out, and then end up calling another store, and there was nobody over there at all, and they had tons of them in stock, so I ended up running over to that other store, I remember I had to drive, I think it was about 30 minutes to another town outside of my own, but it was well worth it. Well worth it, because I got the new iPhone. I know, I was excited. But uh, I'm running some errands and get back home, work for a little bit, figure I might shave. Take a look in this mirror, yeah. Kinda got that that rustic manly man going on. But uh, I've been lazy with shaving it. Normally I shave every day or every other day, because I have to, otherwise I look like I have a beard. And I've just always preferred to, clean, to be clean shaven, but I don't know, this winter I've just been kind of bummish and just been letting it, you know, grow more. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, I hate that when you get in front of like semis like that one or behind them and trucks and then they like start throwing stuff on your car. Welcome to the Midwest, Central Illinois in the winter. That's what it's like. That is what it's like on these roads. Let's get over here to the bank, get out of traffic a little bit, and run some more errands. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And happy Friday. I need to get over here on my exit. Catch this little exit here. Switch, I'll switch the angle of the phone. Use my other hand. I noticed the iPhone 6 when I vlog with it. So I'm not using like a go pole, so I try to hold it with both hand or one hand. But I try to keep it somewhat stable, and it gets a little heavy with one arm. If you want some great resistance training for your arms, start vlogging with a heavy camera. Or start vlogging with, like, a heavy camera rig. Huh, my last name is Rig. No pun intended. 
and then you'll build a little resistance training. So who would have thought you could get buff and tough and rough? No, I'm joking. You get buff by vlogging. Can you get buff by vlogging? I think you can. If you held the phone every day in each hand for 15 minutes a day while you vlogged, that resistance alone, I guarantee, would build some muscle tone. In fact, I'd be tempted to have someone try it out. We could try it out, but I don't want to hold it only because I know it hurts after a while. So, you guys want to see what coming into the other side of my city looks like? Coming in off the highway. Always got to watch out for the policeman, especially like the one that just passed us. Pretty typical city like any other guys. You come into it and bombarded with gas stations like Circle K and Shell and Jiffy Stop and McDonald's. I mean, your places might be called something different. Then they got this place over here to the left. It's called Sinful Sensations. It's an adult DVD store. It's kind of funny. The signs is like Sinful Sensations. Then our big Halls Harley Davidson store. Yeah, we have one of those. Pretty big. Wings Etc. That's a chain, I think. Some of you guys might have Wings Etc. Some of you guys might have Hickory River Smokehouse in your city. I'm not sure. I don't know. I think that's a. I think that's a chain. What up, Red Camaro? Slow Marrow, I call him. Wow. But here is my bank, right next to Steak and Shake, and to the Jimmy Johns. So we get dialed in here, so we can go up to the bank. We're gonna go through the drive-through. At the drive-thru, to the drive-up tellers. Well, I'm not a drive-up teller. I'm just a drive-up guy. No, I'm joking. They're saying drive-up tellers are here, silly. Oh, yeah. So we'll go over to the money center. That's what they call it. The ATM's called the money center. Sounds all official, doesn't it? Sounds all official, doesn't it? So, I can get my card out here, my wallet. I know we've tried this before with uh, vlogging while banking. Can we do that? Sure. Put my little pin number in. Did you guys wanna know my pin number? I'm just joking. <laughs> I think we did that in another vlog where I was like, all right guys, here, I'm gonna show you my pin number. I'm just joking. You'd still have to have my debit card anyway. But, Maybe, hold on. Little doors frozen here. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to go through the, uh, try to deposit some cash through the ATM and it's out of order so we're going to have to go through the regular way what a bummer talk about working backwards now okay we can do that we can do that so now we'll go back flip around drive around the circle i don't even know if the bank's open yet this early in the morning i hope they are let's find out cruising back around the front of the bank okie dokie okie dokie people Okie dokie, people. Let me check the hours here. Drive up till, okay, 8 o'clock. It's just a little after 8. Perfect. Works perfect. So, let me pull back around here. We'll go in one of these open lanes. Handle this deposit real quick. Sweet. Just handled that little banking. Like I said, I was trying to pull in the ATM. Because ATM accepts like cash and check through the deposits like Chase Bank does. But the little door wouldn't open up where the cash goes in. So I was like, well, that's buster. So, just need to deposit some money, pay a bill. I need to head over and get some gas. I just kind of looked down and was like, in the midst of all this vlogging and action, I was like, oh, we need to get some fuel. And I only rock uh, shell gas in my car. I've used it in all my vehicles. I actually rock the premium. A lot of people are like, whoa, you don't need the premium in that kind of car. Well, I'll tell you, if you look at the difference like there, it's 40 cents per gallon between the lowest end gas and the highest end, okay? 40 cents different. This car at most will take 12 gallons maybe, if it's low. So 12 times 40. 
It's $4.80. So for about $4.80 more, I'm gonna fill my tank with better gas than I normally would. I know it sounds like a lot more, but I'll tell you what, I'm actually gonna get more miles per gallon with this better, higher octane fuel than I would. So I've done the math many times. You can add it up. You can try it for yourself. I've actually done other videos convincing people and it works and why other people I know, my family, all use Shell V Power Gas because you truly do get more miles per gallon per tank with that with that higher octane gasoline. And see, I live in Illinois. We're spoiled. I get 93 octane, which is awesome because my Dodge Challenger, which is tuned by Diablo Sport, shout out to my people all the way down in Florida. I love you guys. Shout out to Diablo Sport. I'll link that down below what, what tuner I'm talking about for my Dodge Challenger SR T8 car. But, uh, it's tuned specifically to run on 93 octane fuel, so it's a beast. I mean, it is a beast. It's a monster, and if you don't run anything but that, it's not going to work out too well. So, I'm going to go get this gas, see how this guy's staring at me. You haven't seen somebody do a vlog before? Weird people. He was just staring at me like, what's he talking to? Is he talking to his phone? Yeah, I am, because it's a vlog, my friend. Maybe he wants to be a fan. Maybe he wants to win a Team Fell Nation wristband. That was the under the seatbelt trick. Got the little card out here for a little pay at the pump action. So let's go pay at the pump. Yeah, let's do this. Dun 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 Get some gas. We got all filled up here and actually saved. Let me see if that'll focus there. There we go, that autofocus on the iPhone. Actually got, uh, or saved, three more cents per mile per gallon, because I decided to get a car wash today. I know the snow's on the ground, but I wanted to wash some of the salt off the ground. So we're gonna navigate over to the car wash back here. Come on, iPhone 6, give me some autofocus here. <laughs> there we go. So a little car wash action. Open 24 hours, doors open automatically. So, we're gonna put in the code over here that we got from our receipt. And let's see, the code's gonna be 39680. Okay. 39680. Checking code, it says. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A little car wash in action in the vlog okay let's do this okay here we go a little 1080p 60 frames per second car wash action a little undercarriage wash it's probably really loud it says pull forward okay and now stop here's where it's going to get loud folks but we gotta wash the car because we're in central Illinois. We gotta get all the the road grime and salt and nastiness off the vehicle. So nice little car wash and head back home. Yeah. Get all nice and shiny and clean for Friday. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna head back home and work for a while. And then I'm gonna get this vlog edited and uploaded, get some gameplays uploaded, pick my son up from school about 3.30, head back home, wait for my significant other to get home. But yeah, it's uh, looks like shaving up to be a good Friday and a good weekend. But I'm Ryan Rick, guys, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2. Not the number two, not like you're going to take your car to the car wash today, but T.O. like in addition, like also. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up, it would be really super cool. And I'm Ryan Rick, guys, we'll see y'all on another vlog. Have a great day, guys, thanks for watching. Heavy snow in places. It just didn't accumulate like we thought it would, so my hopes of sledding before the Super Bowl and doing all that fun stuff didn't happen. I'm super bummed. It's like still snowing now, but it's not going to do any good to go sledding because we didn't get enough, and I'm so bummed. So we'll hopefully, guys, we'll get a vlog sledding one day. I know I've talked about it a few times.